so we'll start off with uh, packages what are packages packages are nothing but you group classes interfaces and other packages so we have not learned interfaces but we know what our classes are so what is a package you just put some classes and you call them a package you group a few classes and then you call it a package so i will show you with some visualization what do you mean by a package say i have a package called vit university inside this package i have some classes class students class faculty class parents so all these classes are for the package vit university so i just group a few classes and then i give a name for it say vit university we can also group interfaces with classes too likewise i can have another package for xyz university inside this also i can have a few classes grouped under it few classes under one package a few classes under another package one thing you are noticing here both these packages can have classes with the same name that is allowed because we are grouping them under different packages so why we should have different packages for different universities because the students data members methods with respect to this university can be different from the data members and methods of this university but ultimately in both these universities you have students so you go with different packages you group all the classes for that university under this package and all the classes for vit university under this package there will be no naming contentions here you can use the same names in different packages so you have declared classes now how to import the classes that is the next question how to use these classes that i have defined inside a package so you have to go with import statement import package name what is the package name vit university when i give dot star i'll be able to access all the classes in my code star represents import everything from this package if i want to just import students what i'm going to do import vit university is the package name dot students so i'll be able to access only or create objects for students class in my code say you've already done this right you were using scanner class scanner class is present in which package java dot util when you put util dot star it means that you are also importing all the other classes from the util package but when you want only the scanner class what you can do java dot util dot scanner so you are already using import statements now you are understanding what is this package and what is import so you can create your own user defined packages so you have to understand there are a lot of built in packages in java we can also create our own user defined packages what are user defined packages for university i am creating a package that's a user defined package so so packages we have learned what are sub packages sub packages are like packages within another packages it's it's just the concept of creating folders you have a top level folder inside that you create multiple folders and inside that you organize your contents so what are sub packages they are nothing but packages within other packages and why we create sub packages the concept is very similar to creating folders within a folder just to organize your content so i'll give you an example for sub packages here say package vit university i have inside this i have a sub package for scope school i have a sub package for sense school so all the classes under scope will be grouped under this sub package this is a sub package so you can have many classes under scope package you can have many classes under sense package so again when you go with sub packages i have given you an example so you have a class lab in inside the scope package which is a sub package inside vit university likewise you have the class uh, i mean the package sense which is a sub package inside vit university and this class lab is present within this sub package within this package you have the class lab within this package you have the class lab so within different sub packages you can have the same class names no naming contentions occur and uh, you see here display rules here and display rules here maybe for uh, lab rules for sense is different from lab rules for scope so you understood what is a sub package you can create packages within other package so that you can organize your classes you can give it more structure and you'll also avoid all these uh, naming uh, contentions you'll have if you use the same class names within a package 
So how will you import a sub package? So here it is. You import package name. What is the main package name here? VIT University. Dot sub package name. What is dot sub? I can say dot, dot scope. scope. When I say dot star, it will import all the classes within the sub package. Okay. If I want to just import a class within a sub package, what I have to do? Import package name VIT University dot scope dot lab. So this will import this particular class from that package, sub package. Say in Java, there is one very important rule. Say when I perform just import VIT University, I'm just importing VIT University. I'll just write it here. When I import VIT University package, by default, I will not be importing any of the sub packages. Please understand. When you import VIT University package, you can import some of the classes inside VIT University, but you will not import the sub packages by default. You have to write statements for importing sub packages like this. You have to explicitly state which sub package, which class from that sub package you are importing. So this is how you use packages and sub packages in Java. Now let us take a look at a demo on how to create packages and sub packages in Eclipse. For this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to perform this. We'll create a VIT university package. This is the main package. Inside this, we'll create one of the classes, maybe a faculty class we'll create. And we'll have a method inside the faculty class called display faculty. Some, some display method we'll have inside faculty. Then inside VIT university, we'll create two sub packages. One is scope. This is a sub package. Another sub package is sense. So you create two sub packages inside scope. We are going to have the class called lab and inside this lab class display display rules method. Exactly what we have seen in that slide. We are going to create. Likewise, we are going to have a sense uh, sub package inside this again, a lab class and display rules method. So we'll create all these sub packages, then import these classes in our main method. We'll run this code. Okay, this is what is going to be our demo now. So I'll start with the demo. So let me start with this demo. So what we are going to do first is we'll create this VIT university package. So you go to your project, you right click on your project and then you have to go with new. So let me right click. So right click, you go to new and then you select package. So now you're creating a package. So you select package. So it's going to ask you a package name. Package name should always start with smaller letters, lower case. So I'll give VIT in small letters and university. That's it. Now you finish. The package is created. You can very well see here the package is created. Now inside this package, I want to add a class. How will I add? Right click on the package VIT University new. So inside this VIT University package, I'm going to add a class file. And now the class we are going to create is faculty finish. So now inside VIT University package, a class is getting created and it will throw us the code to and inside the faculty method, maybe I'll have a public method, public method called uh, display faculty. So we'll have a sys out here saying uh, I from scope faculty. So we have created this class under this VIT university package. Next, what is our idea? We have to create two sub packages. One is for scope and another one is for sense. So how you create sub packages in Java. So you right click on VIT university. So VIT university contains two sub packages. Let me right click. Yes. Then you go to new. You click on package again. Right click VIT university. Go to package again. Now VAT university is shown. You have to create a sub package. You give dot and then I'll give scope. So this is VAT university dot scope is the sub package. So you have created the sub package under VAT university. And that is called VAT university dot scope. You can see here there'll, there'll be no hierarchy displayed on your Eclipse, but it's a sub package dot scope. So inside scope, you need to create a class called lab. How will you create? Right click on VIT university dot scope and then you go to new class. Yes, you go to new class. And uh, the name for this class is a lab class. We'll create finish. 
So inside VIT University, the sub package is scope. We have a lab class. We'll have a method inside the lab class, public. We'll have a public method. We'll say display rules. What rules for our lab we have, say, let's say rules from lab class. From scope lab class we'll put. So what we have done, we have created the main package VIT University. We have created a sub package scope under VIT University. We have put up a class under the sub package called lab class. So I'm creating another sub package under VIT University. Right click on that. Go to new. Again, you click on package. How can you give the sub package? You give dot sense. So that is the sub package name. Sub package is created for sense. What next? Add a class for the sub package. How will you add a class? Right click and then go to new class. New class. So what is the class name you are going to give? The same name, lab class will give and then finish. Inside this, let me create another method. That is the public method I'll create. What is the public method? Display rules. Again, the same method I'm creating. Display rules for sense lab class. This out. So you're going to say rules for sense lab class. Are you all clear with what we have done? V8 University is the main package. Scope and sense are two sub packages. Under V8 University, we have the class called faculty. Under scope and sense, we have this class called lab and the same display rules method. For scope, we have display rules wherein we say rules for scope lab. For sense, we have this method rules for sense lab. Now, how to use all these classes in our main method? That is the next thing. So I have this main method under my source. So let's uh, Take a look at the main method. So what is the main method I am having? Java lab demo. So this is the main method. I want to import VIT university package here. How to import VIT university package? Just give the import statement VIT and then you import VIT university dot star. What do you mean by dot star? All the classes under VIT university will be imported. Is this clear? Now, if I want to import only the faculty class, I have to just select faculty. So, so how I can use the faculty here? So I can create an object for faculty directly. Faculty, say I'll call the faculty as Satish new faculty. How can I invoke the method inside the faculty class? Satish dot display faculty. Say, where is the definition for the faculty class? Inside the package. VIT University, that's how you import. You have already seen this. If you're not importing java.util.scanner, you're getting an error because the definition for scanner lies within the util package. So import is very important. And uh, here you have imported this. Let me run this and show you how this works. I from scope faculty. Now, the next question is, we have imported a package. Are we importing the sub packages by default? So can I create an object of type lab here? Because lab is inside the scope sub package. So let me create a new object of type lab. Say lab test is equal to new lab. And you see I'm getting an error because I have not imported any of these sub packages. If I need to import the sub packages, what I should do? I should explicitly mention them here. Say how will I import it? import vit university dot scope inside this i have the lab class so i am importing the sub package scope from there i am importing this lab class now i can create an object of type lab so create object of type lab let's say this is yes new lab we'll call yes dot display rules from the scope lab class let's run this 
so you are going to get i from scope faculty rules from scope lab class are you all clear with this now if i want to import the lab class from the sense package what i should do so i'll just do import vit university say i am importing the lab class from the sense package and i am creating a object of type lab again for my sense uh, lab class so lab k is equal to new lab and k dot display rules will my code work from both the packages importing the same class and trying to create an object for that class so now what happens is you can see this error here that is import vit university dot sense lab collides with another import statement it collides with another import statement why because we are trying to import two lab classes from two different packages when we import it into our project we are getting this collision because these two names are the same in c++ you would have learned when you have multiple inheritance and then you inherit the same names from multiple classes you will have some collision right here we didn't have inheritance but we are just importing from multiple packages but the classes have the same names so you are having a collision here so how to solve this we should not perform an import like this that is not allowed and how you solve this is for one lab i have imported from scope that is fine for the next lab i should give the full domain name that is what is the domain name it's vit university dot sense dot lab i create an object for this that is k is equal to new vit university you have to give the same, the entire name dot sense dot lab and now you call the display rules method so this is from this package sense package this lab is from the scope package now let's run this and check whether our output we are able to achieve our output this is from the vit university package this is from the scope package sub package and this is from the sense sub package so i have very well told you how to import multiple classes with the same name from different packages and avoid any collisions